Uh, some exciting new um, population growth control uh, attempts being made here by these two men, these two valiant men. And with behaviour like that, we can only hope that it worked. And stick around till the end where we'll show you the thrilling conclusion of what happened to this man. In the meantime, what would you do if you were in a car and you're having this done to it? Uh, it turns out you can just pop yourself out, chuck him a stare that says, Guys, can you just shut up? And jobs are good in This is a man who stood up for himself at an anti-white dreadlock rally, and he paid the price there. Um, we can only agree with the, with the stone throwers. Um, I hope you're enjoying the Slovakian folk music. I thought it was appropriate. This is a fellow who just, who just flew too close to the sun. His light just shone too brightly. This is a bit of classic Halloween fun, a bit of harmless fun. Just a harmless seizure there, and he snaps right out of it as Robert Smith from The Cure there pulls him out. Ah, oh, you joker. You put, you, you put me in a seizure. Best thing to do at high altitudes is chuck a load of butter on your fingers and just pop your GoPro out the window there. It's the only thing you want to do all day. Make your mind up. Uh-oh! I'm going to whoop your ass. Hit him with oh, some yeah, yo-yo sauce. Hit him with some yo-yo sauce was just said there. And this fellow is regretting being hit with said yo-yo sauce. And he's quite rightly following the protocol. If you're hit with yo-yo sauce, you have to run out of the basketball court to the outside world a little bit. As this man does, he's taking it like a champ. It's the, it's the penance you have to pay. If you've never been hit with yo-yo sauce, you should be grateful. Okay, now, if none of you have had a moment like this, you haven't really lived, let's be honest. You should be taking a long, hard look at yourself if you haven't done this at least, at least once a week. Just having a spiritual moment there. Transcendent. Uh, we believe uh, sources indicate this is some kind of Slovakian potato monkey, and they're notoriously aggressive if they lose their potatoes. Right now, for the thrilling conclusion of this fella. Bye-bye.